habit. I forget to do stuff all the time. So coronary artery placement, then radiation delivery device. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't say Ms. Marshall. Do you see it now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it's 92974, and that's an add-on code, nine. which is what it was asking us for. Okay. okay, for number 23, did y'all get 78499? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Huh? I didn't quite hear you. What was it? Number 278499. Okay. Then number 25 is 26 modifier. 26 TC modifier. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then 27 is 75705. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Number 28, 29-70130, 30-71100, 31-70542, Thirty-five seven six zero nine eight. Say that one again, Miss Marshall. Seven six zero nine eight. Okay, number thirty-six. Who got into number thirty-six? I do. Okay, Miss Maria, would you give me your answers for number thirty-six? Because I have to tell you. Well, let's do it together. Because you didn't get it done yet, Tay, right? And Carmen, you haven't done it yet either? Okay, so let's just take a minute and do it together. So hang on, Miss Maria. And Rachel, I know you yes, have to answer too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's an established patient is seen in the clinic office complaining of severe headaches. To diagnose and treat the patient, the physician needs to identify a cause for these headaches. He performs an expanded problem-focused history and examination and orders a CT scan of the head. The clinic radiologists perform the x-ray in which contrast was used. So what do you think the first code that we need is going to be? Uh, E&M code. Yeah, we have to have the an E&M &E code for an established patient. And did y'all do the little exercise with me where you wrote like E-E-L-D-D-L? Uh, Miss Kim went over it a little bit, but we didn't actually like go through, like she just kind of put it on the board and say, hey, it'd be, it'd be a good idea to put this on your book, but. She oh, okay, well, I'll just, I'll share just real quick. So let's go to our e &M to establish patient. That's that very beginning, the red part. <clears throat> okay, so on number 11, not your page number, Rachel, your page numbers are different. On number 11, we start with our new patients, but we don't want new patient. We want established patient. So we're going right. to turn over to 12. Okay. Now I'm just going to start with 99212, and this is what I've done. The little points underneath where it says a problem focused history, problem focused examination, straightforward medical decision making. I'm going to hold up my book and see if y'all can see it. I wrote P. P S because it's problem, problem, straightforward. 
Now, if you look at number, or if you look at CPT code 99213, it says expanded problem, expanded examination, and medical decision making, low complexity. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for that expanded history and expanded exam. So whenever I did my coding, I wrote over here EE. And because I have it labeled EEL and we only need two of the three to match, I have it labeled EEL, I automatically know when I turn there. I don't have to read anything because I know I'm looking for the EE. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. So that's why I labeled mine that way. It is not necessary for you to do that. But I label mine that way because I have a habit of when I know I need an E&M code, I'm looking for that wording and I'm writing my little letters on the side because I can just match it quickly. That's just how I like to do it. But you're not required to do it my way. <clears throat> yeah. So our E&M code is going to be what? 99213. The 99213. Okay, so next we have, what, are, what did we actually do? We did a CT scan. Mm -hmm. So we need to go to our index and find CT scan. And it is under CT scan. Okay, and I'm going to tell you, Rachel and I worked on this one earlier. And my, um, I believe that my answer key is wrong. So I'm going to see what you guys get. So it's, uh, it has contrast. We used it with contrast and it was, was it the head or the neck? It's the head. Okay. Rachel, where did we get neck at? Huh? That's crazy. We both <laughs> read this same mistake. All right. So it's the head, but I still don't think the one that we had was correct because it's with contrast, right? Right. Mm -hmm. The head with contrast. So it'd be 70460. Yeah. Well, I just want to tell you the answer key said it was 70450. So, but I believe it's a six zero. And after reading that more carefully, it is the head. So it, I believe it's going to be the seven oh four six zero. So let's go back and double check because we always code two ways, right? We get it from our index and then we double check it in our tabular. So seven or four six zero CT head or brain without contrast is five zero, but this was with contrast, so it's going to be seven oh four six zero. Do you guys agree? Yes. I do. Okay. With your permission, I would like to skip number thirty seven. Go back and work on it if you would like, but there are one two three four five six codes in that and i would like to be able to get through some quite a bit of our workbook before we run out of time and that's just going to take a lot of time but i will make sure that when i give you your recording of your answers i will make sure that i put the answers to that on the recording okay or do y'all want to take the time to do that one we no, we can okay. go. move on Okay, is there any that you guys have worked ahead on then that need help with? No, nope. I already did before. Other than that, I'm good. Okay, how far did y'all get? It's just not a judgment, <laughs> huh? I just went to 35, so from here on, I haven't got anything done. How about you, Miss Maria? Do you need any help with any diff anyone? Just the last <laughs> one, Miss uh, Marsha. <laughs> On the 56. Of course, Miss Maria got to 56. <laughs> <laughs> I got that for you. <laughs> yeah, it was well, all right. well. So everybody I goes number 56. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So we're going to go to number 56, correct? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, so. All right. Then a graphic of unilateral extremity, radiological supervision and interpretation in a patient with end-stage renal disease on hemodialysis report the radiology service only. So what did we do? We need to go to Vinagraphy. We did a Vinagraphy, right? Right. Of an extremity. It's All right. So that's where we start. Huh? It's on the lateral extremity. The unilateral extremity. So unilateral means what? One side, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go to venography. It doesn't have it. Okay. Well, it did not tell us whether an extremity is an arm. If you look on uh, 1087, mm -hmm. we get the venography. Right. Um, in this particular scenario, they're meaning an arm. And the reason I know that is because it gives me a little bit more explanation in my answer key. So we're looking for a venography of the arm unilaterally. So that puts us 75820 through 75822. That's our choices. Seven five eight two zero. I'm going with Maria. Seven five eight two zero. Okay. Would you use a modifier GC for that, or just leave it like it is? Um, in this scenario, they're not giving a modifier to be used. It, de it would depend on if they were doing it in a radiological center or if they were doing it in the clinic and they're not giving us that. So we're not going to add a modifier to it. 26 and TC guys are kind of confusing and we don't get a lot of practice with it because um, they're not giving us full medical reports. They're just giving us little snippets of. But what I want to assure you of is if you go to work, if you go to work for a facility such as, for example, Red River Cardiology, they're going to tell you we only use modifier 26 in this clinic. But if you go to, uh, if you go to the surgical center where they actually do um, all of these services, they only use the modifier TC. So it, it, it's just so different, it's hard for me to, I didn't give a lot of explanation in that simply because it would be more confusing for me to explain to you the way I did it and the way the surgical center did it, it wouldn't make any sense. So I'm trying to give as little possible clarification on TC in 26, simply because it's very confusing unless you have a full medical record and you know who you're billing for. So just, don't worry so much about it. Whatever facility you go to, they're going to give you a list of modifiers in which they expect you to use. And um, as far as testing goes, I'm going to let you know if we need a TC modifier, if we need a 26 modifier. I, I, I'm trying to think back of the quiz, and I don't think I have any modifiers on it. So okay. I agree with 75820 because that says venography, extremity, Unilateral radiological supervision and interpretation. So, and I'm going to go ahead and give you the ICD 10 codes, even though I don't always require you guys to do that. That's just only if you want to. So, the CPT, I mean, the ICD 10 codes are N18.6, which is our end stage renal disease. 
and then our hemodialysis is Z99.2. Could you please repeat that? Last one. Z99.2. Thank you. Okay. And the first one was in what, Ms. Uh, Marcia? 18.6. ESRD, end stage renal disease. Okay. Well, if no one has any more questions on those, why don't we start at number 40? Because those are kind of cut and dried and it's not going to take quite so much time and we can do a few together. Okay. So let's okay. start on number 40. And that says radiological examination ankle to use. So we're going to go to x ray, right? Yes, we will. Anatomical side the ankle. Get it on the ankle. Y'all hold your answers whenever you get them. Let's let everybody get get there. Oh my goodness, I have just beat this one. I think is seven. Oh. Hang on, Miss Maria. Yes, 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 ma'am. Speedy Gonzalez, wait for us. No, 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 <laughs> sometimes. No, all the time. <laughs> okay, I have my answer. Like walk like an Egyptian. We ready? I am. What you got, Carmen? Seven three six zero zero. Does everybody agree? Yes. Okay. That's what I have too. Okay, let's move to number forty one. X ray of a six month old upper arm two views. You know what? I don't know why I don't just mark x-ray back here because we use it so much. So x-ray. So I'm going to x-ray and arm, but we need to make sure that we understand it's the upper arm. You ready? We got it. What you got, Rachel? Uh, 73092. Does everybody agree? Yes, ma'am. I agree too. That's right. So number 42, unilateral selective pulmonary angiography. It says I'm running out of time. Unilateral selective pulmonary angiography supervision and interpretation report radiology service only. 
So where would we start on that one? We would start on angiography. And then we're gonna look at pulmonary. Oh goodness, it gives us a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna tell y'all it's not the nine three five six eight, it's not the medicine code. Hey y'all, if it boots us off, then I will turn around and I will make a new, um, I'll go right back into a different one and hopefully I won't have to use a different code. If I do, then I will send out a, a message with the new code and we'll just pop right back in, okay? So okay. We don't have to, I feel like I'm, we're so rushed. I don't like that. Did everybody hear that? Yes, ma'am. We ready? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Tay, what you got? I got seven five seven four one. Does everybody agree? Agree. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Fluoroscopic guidance for needle placement. So where do you think we're going? Needle placement. Fluoroscopy. Yeah, I, I like fluoroscopy, but you can do needle placement. You can, you know, we're not always going to go to the same spot. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fluoroscopy. Well, I'm going to give you a word that they don't actually have in here. It's going to be needle biopsy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You can heat me up too. Sorry, y'all. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm not, but you can go ahead and heat the food up. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
Well, and I'm just going to tell you the, the code that they give us also is an add on code. So we would never okay. code that first, right? Mm -hmm. But we're just given that we're just coding the little scenarios they're giving us. Tay, we are Twinkies. Look what I have, Taylor. Nah. <laughs> I'm bringing mine too. <laughs> What you think, Miss Maria? Well, I got the seven seven zero zero two. That's I right. Went to and that is a, go ahead. I went to fluoroscopy and then get needle biopsy. Right, but I want to make pay, I want to make a, a point to tell you that that is an add-on code. So it's if we were coding a real scenario. We would not use that first. We would have to have a code that goes before it, but we're just coding these little examples. Okay, so we're gonna do number 44, and I think we're gonna stop. Computed tomography guidance for stereotactic localization. So we're gonna go to CT, I would think. What do y'all think? I agree. And then we're going to go to guidance, I think. What do y'all think? I agree. Yes, ma'am. And then localization. Rachel, do you have it? Yes, ma'am. 77011. That's right. Okay. Well, I got a little bit further than I thought we were going to get. Um, do you guys feel good about taking care of the rest yourself this evening? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. If you, if you need help or we have some that are problems, I'll, we can pop back on tomorrow night and hit those problem ones. Um, I am going to make a recording with all the answers. As soon as we stop this, I'm going to go ahead and do the Zoom. I'll do a Zoom recording and I'll put it up so that way you guys can listen to it anytime you want to. Just try to work them yourselves because you know if you don't and you get that quiz, you're not going to know what to do. So do y'all need me for anything else? No, no ma'am. Okay. I miss y'all. I know we don't see y'all all the time, but still. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to uh, end this call and then be watching in the next probably 10, 15 minutes. I'll go ahead and upload that Zoom recording so you can get in if you need to get an answer. It was great to see y'all. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.